All right, so nearly two years ago, I got a text from one of my clients and she was asking me if I could do a specific cut for one of her friends. And um, this was the picture. It was Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. That's the picture. That's the reference picture to what I'm supposed to work with. So here I give you Gabriel. <laughs> Keep in mind, I will be mentioning five mistakes that I did do in this haircut, things that I take back, things that I would not do today. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we're gonna get ready and get going. We have our towel, and you would think with me bringing this freaking towel, I would drench the hair with some water. No, this is not the case here. Young Fonz, two years ago Fonz, didn't think about that. He just wanted to part the hair dry. Number one mistake right there. I tried to part the freaking hair dry. There's a, a point later in this video where I say, you know what, I will drench the hair, but it wasn't until I try to put the hair up, and this is where I verified with Gabriel, if that's the, the amount that he wanted to part away, because even though we're going for this Trunks haircut, um, he also wants to do a man bun, so it's not like he wanted to do that length. He wanted to take away the sides because he was getting a little tired of it. He felt like it was really hot. Remember, we live in Tampa out here. It gets muggy. Now, by this time, I came to my senses and I got the freaking water bottle just to put the little hairs up. So it's not even like I drenched the whole top section. No, I just wanted to get the little section right here, the corners that the baby hairs will be sticking out of. It was pretty, uh, I wasn't all there, let's just say, but whatever. Another thing that we did differently on this video that I don't do at all anymore, I used detachable guards. Um, I ended up using detachable blades just so I could debulk the sides a little bit quicker, which I still do think that detachable blades cut through bulky hair the best. There's no clipper on the market that could cut better than a detachable blade. In my opinion, I just feel like those metal blades grab onto the hair much quicker than any one of these clippers that we have now where we use these plastic guards. It's not the same. If you haven't tried using detachable blades, I would recommend it, but the downside is that most of these detachable clippers are at least $300, and that's not including each detachable blade, which is more than $25 a piece. And on top of all that, it takes much more time to get the fade done. Now, early in the consultation, Gabriel did tell me that he did have a light spot on the right side of his temple area. So I was trying to cut the hair in a way that could cover that. Basically, I was trying to keep it bulky, but he was already sold on the idea of cutting most of it off, of pretty much keeping it super light. So even though I want to attempt it, at the end, he didn't want it. He wanted me to cut it all the way up to the ridge. But as you can see right now, voila, there's the light area. And he was okay with that. He actually told me that in the past, when he did do this type of haircut, he would get designs to kind of, you know, finesse that area up. He didn't ask for a design this time. So my thought was, okay, let me just do a taper, a ball taper to see if I could take away from that. But the problem was how high up that light patch was in his head. Like, I mean, there's only so many things in regards to a that you could do until you just get to a point where your back is against the wall and that light area wins so in this case i did low taper kept the c cup and we're going a little high in the back i swear this is what you run into when you don't wear the hair boys and girls the sectioning is a nightmare don't forget to wet the hair we wanted to put that out there but let's get back to business so after i figured that out just a bit more i'm using my detachable blade and this is a one and a half if i'm not mistaken might have been a two i can't really tell right now i'm pretty sure it's a two i'm pretty sure it's a two if you think it's a two let me know in the comments below but after you know utilizing that detachable blade as best as i could i went ahead and thought to myself hey let me make a different video funds let me use a different system wrong decision to make after coming from a two month and a half two and a half month shutdown and dude i'm like i don't i don't use this freaking clipper i actually hate this system now more than ever i used it when i was in barber school it was cool you know a young barber trying to do it all right that's what we'd like to do buy all the clippers buy all the the cool things but really in all actuality find your system and master that thing after that you can move on to other things i chose to use this freaking and system let me just tell you it's just not the right move guys not to mention the freaking guard system is a nightmare if i really think about it you have these guards that stick to everything to everything see when they had that little band that you put on your arm and you could put the guard system there yeah like that was cool at one point but really magnetic guards they really are a pain that 
ass. They stick to every. They stick to your shears. Blades can stick to them. They actually could be hazardous, in my opinion. Like you know, if you don't, we can live life without these freaking guards. I know there's a lot of you that disagree with me and think I'm crazy and love these guards to death because I feel like if you you either really like this system or you really hate it. And the people that really, really, really mess with this system, it's like a cult. And yes, I get it. You guys are out there. You exist. But me, I'm not one of you. I don't like these freaking guards. Just wanted to say that. Let's get on with this freaking high taper. Let's go. I'm actually not using this shaver anymore on people's heads. I'm, I'm only using them for their face. Uh, the FX3 shaver is what I'm using now for fades. And I like to think that the scalp is a little bit more dirty than the face. Even though, yeah, the face gets exposed equally as much. But I just feel like the scalp, so many, so many layers of dead skin gets on that shaver when you use it for a ball fade. And to use that same shaver on the face to me just does not sound right to do to a client now i'm not saying i don't clean my shavers i do every time after a client i clean my shavers but still even if i'm using that shaver on the same person for a skin fade on their head i don't want to use it on their face there's something wrong with me like i don't want that on my face that's what i'm thinking so i have two shavers now and i feel better about it i don't think my clients care um they just want the haircut but for me i feel like that's a a better thing to do because that's how I would want it to be done on me. So in this segment, we could talk about crappy angles, guys. See, as a barber, you have a lot of things to think about already when you cut hair. And when you are not only a barber, you're also a content creator, you have to also think about angles. And guys, don't let your angles be this crappy. If you're using a freaking GoPro like me, which if you're a beginner barber, just use your cell phone. Don't use these expensive cameras. Don't try to break the bank. Use your cell phone. I have literally done a whole year's worth, well, what I could manage to do within a year by just using my cell phone. In this video, I'm using a Canon M50 with a GoPro. And if you don't manage to get a clear angle, it doesn't matter how expensive your equipment is, your angles suck. So please pay attention to your angles. Oh, and make sure that you put some money up for some lighting. It doesn't have to be crazy, but get you a few ring lights, get that clear shot and through that, You'll be able to help people out. Put your content out that way. Just use what you have. Don't have to break the bank. You don't have to break the bank, guys. You don't have to break the bank, guys. I've learned this the hard way. I don't want you to learn the hard way. So don't break the bank. Use your freaking cell phone. I know a lot of you already have ring lights. So you have what you have. Use what you have. Maximize what you have. And then later on, when you get a, a return off of what you have, you get more then. Cool. Let's move on to more stupid Fonz decisions. All right, Fonz, let's let this hair down and <laughs> let's try to brush it while it's dry. You freaking man. This is this is tough to watch. This is so tough to watch. It really is. Oh my God, bro. No. Oh. Don't do this. Be better than me. Oh my God. This is so bad to watch. This is cringy. Do my thing. Oh. Gabriel, I'm sorry that I put you through this pain, bro. I'm pretty sure it wasn't painful because you were cool about it. And this is where I, I find out, you know, the exact length that you want. And I grab the hair one last time, dry style. And, you know, I put, I try to attempt to put a freaking ponytail on, but I double check with you real quick that that's the length that you wanted to take out. Gabriel didn't want to save the hair. He wanted just to cut it off. And that was fine. I wanted to get the room, the vibe right, put some yay up and, uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and chop this thing off one last time. Come on, Fonz. Stop taking so long to see. This is what happens when you try to make videos. You're just too stuck on getting the, the perfect shot. Just get the best angle and go, Fonz. Please. Look, just struggling with this freaking ponytail. Gabriel, I'm so sorry, bro. Gabriel, yo. Oh my God. Look at that ponytail. You could tell I don't do my daughter's hair at all. 
at all. Look, I failed as a barber. That could be another problem right there. What? Where are we at right now? Where are we at? Number four. Number four mistake of this freaking service is never let your client do his own ponytail. I failed right there. All right, so we got it to where he wanted it. This is where he wants it. Wait, wait, wait. He's pulling it up a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, right there. Okay, cool. You ready? Let's do it. Choppy, choppy. No fuimos. Mmm. There it is. So the moment has come to take Gabriel's hair more serious. We're actually wetting it all the way through. And remember, we're going for the trunks look. We're going for zero elevation, no layering. Uh, that's for what he wanted. So remember, I cut it from the top. It was uneven. And now let's even it out. here you know those little hairs those little pelitos that hang out like sometimes i don't even notice when they're in the barbershop as you can see as the light hits it you can see the little hairs and i'm not really proud of this service completely i know i could do much better now but it was one of those haircuts that i was just in my head because of the fact that i was trying to record um but one of my good friends jeezy would always tell me that the beauty about recording haircuts is that just make the effort to record the haircut even if you're uncomfortable if you don't like it then don't post it and even if you don't post it in my case i keep it and later it could be something that you could talk about you know with people that maybe feel the same way right now and that's why i'm making this video to help you kind of get over that hump if you're trying to record haircuts and and know that every one of us has our haircuts that we struggle with and i'm not saying this is the hardest haircut i've ever done it was just a haircut I was in my head about because I could have handled this cut back then. Even back then, I could have handled this cut much better, but I was in my head too much. So, you know what? We can add that as number five. Get out of your own way. Definitely one of the five mistakes that barbers make and people make, but definitely barbers. Get out of your own way. Don't make your excuses in your head be the reason why you keep failing or you keep putting yourself back. Get out of your own way. Be your best cheerleader and keep freaking cutting hairs. <laughs>